people, hey, I greet you all according to your time and your location. Make I just break the headline. No time to check time, no time to waste time. My people, hey, hey. Governor Baseki and Governor of Castina State, don't come expose to me, boom, my people. Jagam, jagam. <laughs> Governor Paseki say this palliative when he be setting the bubri come, he say this a scam. Oh, <laughs> if una nova year, make una year, he say na scam. He say tini bubri that thing, say na scam. Say because they not see anything. Say as tini bubri will come, he scatter every year. Say the poor masses they suffer. He say because as he just come, he bring that fuel source to come. When he bring that fuel source to come, he say by now he would say solution don't come out. He say he surprise. Uh, Tinipu not bring any solution. He said this Tinipu regime na nonsense. My people, Castina State government on his own constant talk say na scam. Na Tinipu still do they say because that five hundred million era where they say they give each each gov government. He say he not see anyone as a governor. He said they not give. I say because na scam. Say Tinipu just the scam all of the rand. Hey, <laughs> my people. Hey, hey. the third. Uh, uh, good news, we say now we came. My people now say we came when he visited. I get a, a river state as he rule as governor. It is said that so he go see carry that leg, see come federal capital territory. <laughs> what did they call her? Federal capital territory. It is said that so he go see come, come they do jaga jaga jaga. My people now there the fire ram. They say he go buy moto of three million bulletproof uh, moto, three hundred million, been a three hundred thousand. 300 million naira bulletproof car. My people, now there, now the whole secret meeting, they go fire and say, how come you were just the enter minister of uh, uh, Abuja now? Now you can go the thief government money to take out the buy that kind moto, bulletproof moto. My people, not be smart, you know. They not say when they put fire for small picking, they show the light, papo, papo. The picking, nobody go tell us, make he come out before he go come, come and come clarify himself. Now there, we can come, come outside, he can uh, expose himself. You will carry all the old uh, channel, all these uh, people where be say they go interview one. He carry all of them, come outside. He can talk, say, he no buy you. Say, the term when he there for governor, of course, he they uh, eligible to car. He say, na the car. Now he they use, say, he no buy. My people, hey, hey, hey. He say this one, a river state when he be say he go just they do as he like. <laughs> he don't know say this on a federal capital territory. The next one, Jagam na Erofai, my people. Hey, Erofai, former governor of Kanu State, my people. Hey, Una no say since we all eye the red, as he eye the red. Hey, hey, hey. He eye the red, say the Lord put a Tinibu remove and come on for the list of that uh, ministerial something. Say, Tinibu no add a join. My people, na na, the man don't come outside. Na music. Nine, the mark of the sing, he don't bring another latest music called Jagam. As he bring that music that the people fire and say that's so music. That like that three music that he don't carry con cop put for online. If they use that thing, they give parable that they tell us so you see your life. No, nah, no, nah, no, nah. those votes where you steal from uh, uh, Peter Obi, now nah, they work against you. So, now nah, the evil way you do, now nah, they work against My people, I don't want you to continue to be talk all of them. I'm going to watch all of them for video because the way they talk as so, I just the sweet people. You'll be like, say, eh? You'll be like, say, that my mouth now for the year. I'm going to see ya. My people, this is on a Quiggy's TV. If today now your first time they come across my video, what do they wait for? Don't forget to press the follow button. Don't forget to follow this video for more. I will see you on my next video. Bye bye. If the rumor is true that Tinubu made Wike FCT minister so that Wike can help him rig FCT in case of a rerun, then they have made a very big mistake because first of all, our plan for Tinubu is outright disqualification. Then secondly, like I said, the FCT is not River State. Ever since Tinubu made Wike the temporary minister of FCT, Wike has been making a lot of noise. And recently, he began to trend that he bought an armored car, a bulletproof car, for 300 million naira using FCT's money. And some major chiefs in FCT, on hearing this, went into a closed door meeting with him. They said, oh, God, waiting, they happen. You just they come. How come you they buy car of 300 million using FCT's money? And the guy had to explain to them. He had to explain to them. And he even came out and called media houses and began explaining to everybody. To show you, say this place, no be river state where you can just march and trample upon everybody. Before I show you the video where he was explaining himself, let me quickly show you what Godwin Obaseki, the governor of Edo State, said about this administration. He said he is shocked 
are the level of planlessness of these people after the removal of foil subsidy. Look at how the papers reported it. He said, I am shocked, scared of federal government's lack of plan for Nigerians after foil subsidy removal, says Edo Governor Obaseki. Edo State Governor Mr. Godwin Obaseki Wednesday lashed out at the administration of President Bola Tinubu, saying he was shocked and scared of the government's inability to plan and effectively respond to the fuel subsidy removal that further impoverished Nigerians, inflicting hardship and suffering on the people. Obaseki made the assertion while addressing journalists in Benin City. The governor described the federal government's palliative concept as fraudulent, saying his administration would implement measures to support Edo people. Obaseki's comments came as the Katsina state government yesterday refuted a report that it had received $5 billion from the federal government as palliatives to mitigate the effect of well subsidy removal on the citizens. The governor said, I have always warned, I warned Nigerians during the last May Day this year. I told them that we have come to the end of the road and that the old economic order in Nigeria is gone. And we have to come up with a new economic order and stop deceiving ourselves as a nation. Mm. First of all, the Katsina state governor has come out to say that even the 5 billion naira Tinubu said he gave governors is a lie. He said he has not received any 5 billion naira. And Obaseki is saying something that aligns with what His Excellency Peter Obi has been saying. He said the old economic order is gone. The era of sharing money, the era of you take, I take is gone. He said we have to wake up to a new order. And that is what Peter Obi has been telling every Nigerian. Now, let me show you the video of where Wike had to come out to explain himself to the public. See the video. See what's going on social media. How they bought a car, put a proof car of 300 million naira that I'm using. So I want you to go and get your hand there. And see really what it is a treated uh, car. With all due respect, people should be careful not to destroy other people. So, the, when I came, the permanent secretary said they have a car for us and that the car we use is this. So I have never approved the car to be bought and I'm not using official bulletproof card now. When I have cars as governor, yes, as I was governor, well, what do you expect? I should have what? So, but I'm not using bulletproof car as FCT minister. So we should report the right thing and not to destroy ourselves. So I want you to take a look of that car where you have a flag, whether it is bulletproof car. Thank you. And the part of the video that shocked me the most was where he said, we have to be careful not to destroy other people. I mean, he's talking about not pulling other people down. And I'm so shocked. This Is this the same man that scattered Peter Obi's votes in River State? A man won an election clearly in your state. The people gave him their votes freely and you changed everything. A state where Tinubu was not supposed to get 25%, you gave him victory. And now you are talking about people not spoiling your name. This is just the beginning, Wiki. You will be shamed in this country and all of us will be here to see it. And in other news, Nigerians continue to mock former governor of Kaduna State, Nasiru El Rufai, as he continues in his journey of depression after being omitted from the temporary ministerial list or the list of temporary ministers he took to social media again and he posted another music he posted another song that nigerians should go and listen to it look at how the papers reported it vanguard says you make your heaven and hell on earth el rufai drops another song former kaduna state governor nasir el rufai has posted the lyric of another song titled you make your own heaven and hell right here on earth. There, 
X social media platform on Wednesday. This was the third song that Erufai would post on X after dropping Who the Cap Fit by Bob Marley and the Whalers and One Moment in Time by Whitney Houston on Sunday and Monday, respectively. <laughs> the former governor has resorted to posting songs to pass messages to Nigerians following the failure of the Senate to confirm him on the ministerial nomination. Wednesday Wisdom, you make your own heaven and hell right here on earth by the undisputed truth is one of my all-time favorites from our Barewa College days. Enjoy the music and reflect on the lyrics on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Oh! This man is depressed. This man is hot. And look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet says, really? So why do you use religion to deceive the uneducated poor people in your region and keep them in perpetual poverty? Oh, if you know heaven is here on earth, then why are you using religion to deceive people? And this tweet says, I'm glad you know that your hell has come to welcome you while heaven departs from you. I can imagine the pains you go through from the heat of hell. Congratulations to you for making hell. You can now send repentance messages to your family members. Oh! This tweet says, I thought he said Obi is an actor. Today, who is an actor? He is even a comedian and an actor and a musician at the same time. Confusion everywhere. And this tweet says, Does it mean that 77 virgins is an illusion? Oh! This tweet right here says, El Rufai has discovered his real talent. He now drops new songs every week. Oh! And you can clearly see there that this man, El Rufai, is losing it. The man is beginning to pay for all his sins against the people of Southern Kaduna and the entire Nigeria when he stole the votes of His Excellency Peter Obi. And this is going to be the fate of all those who touched Peter Obi's votes. I'm not talking of those who did not vote for him. I'm talking of those who stole the votes that the people gave him freely. And that is why we are saying the judiciary should not put themselves in the class of these people that will suffer. Don't steal this man's mandate. The man is ordained by God. He's God sent. Give to him what is his own. Don't try to rob him. Clear evidence, sufficient evidence have been provided. And we are not begging you. We are not asking for a favor. We are saying be true to your calling. Pass judgment according to the dictates of the constitution and according to the electoral laws. And we eagerly expect the day when we go pass that judgment for the sake of those of us.